What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Fears to Fathom. Today we're going to be playing episode four of the anthology, The Iron Bark Lookout. I am aware that the Woodbury Woodbury Getaway has just came out, um, so that'll probably be the next on my um, to-do list. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll um, wait until that goes on sale. I mean, it's only 10 bucks, so I might just get it. So I know a lot of big-name YouTubers have already recorded it and uploaded it so uh, you know it is what it is but so today we are going to be playing the iron bark lookout so in this episode you play as a guy who is a park ranger that has transferred from one area to another and then you know the people that you interact with are like wondering like why why do you want to come to this place because you know you know crazy stuff has been happening in this area um so you know you do come across like i guess you would uh, be like some kind of a cult uh doing like some kind of weird like uh ritualistic type stuff so other than that let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into if you like to if you like coming across my channel or if you like this type of content if you're not already subscribed please do to please do so and if you like the video please like it and then leave some comments in the comment sections and you know tell me you know what you think or you know what you think about this game and without further ado let's jump right into the game there's to fathom episode four out and back look out. May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play, Fears to Fathom, Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories to a bit. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my, from my dad. The RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time, I was transferred from the out one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling, I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a, a two hour drive. So we're driving an RV now. And this music should be copyright free from what the intro said, so no worries about the music being an issue for No texting and driving, sir. Yeah. Kayla uh, Nelson. Message Miss Scott. See. Congratulations on the Tata. Very ready for the chat. It's just for you to tell you that you've been assigned to Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mike by way from Iron Bar. Thank you. I heard lots of you. Josh, very excited, very soon. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts at 12. Okay. So the music is a little loud in my ear, so which means it probably might be loud for you guys. So let me go ahead and tone it down a little bit. Not sure if that'll make a difference or not. This is Mitch by the by way from Iron Bar. Thank you. I heard a lot about us from Drosh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Your chef starts on 12. Sounds good, I'll be there anything I need to know. I have your paper, just bring your ID. Just, just told me the job is not due to you. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill, or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry, I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People joining for a getaway or to discover who they are only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off in a cubicle. To be honest, with you joining the Iron Horse last year not knowing what is expected, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I don't like city life. I do, I can't do city life. This is where I belong, and I'm sure I'd adapt just fine into Iron Fire Run. Good, I hope you fare better than the last. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach the tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Let's see. <laughs> I 
Yep, they sure did call you an asshole there, Solus. All right. From Kayla Nelson. This new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature away from being and just get the PBA to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season, hee <laughs> hee. Like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need to talk to Joss. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change, like Iron Bark? They are stepping me to Iron Bark next month. No the one at the Roseburg? Yeah, heard that they got bigger staff, cabins, and less campus. Call me! With Dad, I'll call you back! How is it looking? Still on my way. Dad decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't start to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? Alright, now we can continue our driving. I lived a very solitary life. Which means a lot of touching yourself. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. Alright. That's like driving an RV. I know probably driving an RV is can't be this smooth, but I could be wrong. Never owned one. Never owned one and never really driven to one, so I really can't say. But all I know is that having an R I've always loved the great outdoors. Having an RV with price I mean if that's it, just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. But obviously if that's all you got, and you use it, I felt like I was at home in the woods for traveling purposes, then I could see how it makes sense, but I'm pretty sure these heavy-ass monstrosities suck fucking ball sack on gas mileage. I remember there's this dino while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffy sauce. Thanks. <laughs> Equals touch yourself. <laughs> Living by yourself, married, equals touch yourself. <laughs> now I'm driving like a freaking, like Chucky would say, you goddamn women drivers! Trying to pay attention to the chat and fucking Twitch. We must be coming up on the burger joint. Oh, there's a gas. Oh, here it is, the diner. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. All right, let's pull up into this bitch. All right, where can I park this big monstrosity? You know what? I'm going to be one of those assholes and make up my own parking. I should have taken it easy. I want to talk, but I really can't. Well, I'm pretty sure. Maybe she's right, I'm wow, the brake, the brake. So this thing has no fucking braking. That or there is no real like braking option. Oh, what do you know? I hit the wall, the barricade. All right, here we go. Gonna do, gonna do make our asshole parking right now. Oh, look, I'm about to hit the diner. Oh no, lawsuit! <laughs> I'm gonna sue your ass. All right, here we go. Let's take up about uh, three or four spots. We're gonna be a dick about it. All right, here we go. Get out. <laughs> All right. We'll go ahead and let leave the radio on. So we took up. Oh, just two parking spots. I thought this thing was a little bit bigger than that. All right, let's see what this dude's doing out here. Uh, you doing anything illegal here, sir? You taking that crack cocaine? No, no, you're not. How's that, the bugger? Where are you headed? Let me see. This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Let me see. Just passing through. I'm a new staff rat. I am Bark State Park. How will you pass through? Have a safe journey! Alright. I see they still haven't fixed that with the uh, 
Well, actually, they might have fixed it, or who knows? Because I think that I know if you run, yeah, running at an angle, you you go faster for some reason. So I guess they still haven't fixed it where running straight ahead makes you go fast. Ooh, look at that burger! Please leave me alone. No. Fuck you, you fucking old fat fuck. You look a little lost. Just passing through there, buddy. So where are you headed? Nice. Ah, fuck it. Would be nice. Ah, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. That sounds interesting. Do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive. I don't think I could handle a job like that. It's not for everyone, that's for sure, but I find it very fulfilling. Yep. Welcome, welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Let me see, good, how about you, or not too bad? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. Alrighty, thank you. Excuse me, sir. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm headed up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at the Ironbark State Park, just down the road. Uh, so is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. Possibly. We can't say what? I need to go. Oh, okay then, I guess, uh, fuck you too. How's the food? Did you mind if I join you? Pretty long day at work, huh? <laughs> we'll say pretty long day at work. Nope, he just stared at me. So, clearly, he don't care, so let's, uh, stay close to the john. Space to get up. And here comes the waitress. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes, I am. Are you on the menu? So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with iron with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Oh, let's see, what's everyone feeling today? Everyone in the mo anyone in the mood for a cheeseburger, a grilled cheese sandwich, or meatball? No takers? Alright, then I guess I will go ahead and pick. I'm a burger guy myself, so let's go ahead and take the cheeseburger. Ha ha! Our burger is the best in the West! Would you like anything to drink? Ooh. Large Coke, coffee, or strawberry slush? Chicken nuggets? Cheeseburgers are better than chicken nuggets, fucker. Let me see. Well, I know the fat ass in my brother-in-law and my sister would say the strawberry slush, so let's go with that. Perfect! Anything else? That'll be all, thank you. That's it. No. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Sounds good. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've always had this habit at the end before eating. Oh, you're talking about Dragonfly Rain. I thought you were talking about me. Well, I said the fat ass and you and her, so I was kind of talking to both of you, but I know you would go for the slush, and yes, Crystal would go for the fucking Coke. Alright, so let's get up. And then we're gonna go ahead and piss all over this here floor. Let's go ahead and pee with the door open. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Letting it all go out. Wash the hands. I would go for the crippling depression. <laughs> Alright, now let's go ahead and sit back down. Alright, where are you at with my drink there, lady? Service! Service here! Looking for some service! Ah, here we go. Ooh, look! That slush is looking pretty damn good, too. 
Damn, bitch, you're just gonna set it just like that? Well, fuck you, ho. Last time I remember, fries don't make crunchy sounds like that. Or at least not that loud, that is. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. So we're just gonna eat the shit out of it. Yep. They always hire me. Why do you think I never clean up my, why do you think I hardly clean up my mess in the movie theater? Keeping the cleaners there employed. So they get paid to do a job for change. So, did you end the deal in? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is good. Oh, Kayla again. Told you, hee <laughs> hee. This food reminds me, you should have sent me that cup. Casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the noodle camp. Well, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Alright, let's drink this bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Soul underscore 64 is all about that veggie diet. He's king vegan. Did you enjoy the food? Did you enjoy the food? Yes, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Well, I know it was terrible tears. He'd say I would like to take you home with me. Check, please. Okay, I'll bring you right back. Walks kind of slow. Oh, never mind. Here's the check. You told us seven seven thousand six cents, sixty cents. You think? All right. Well, first of all, I don't believe in a fifty percent tip because that's overkill. But she does definitely deserve the fifty percent because. She got the check right away, unlike a lot of fucking restaurants these days where, like, you don't fucking see the waiter or waitress after you place your order, and then you don't fucking see them for, like, 10 or 20 minutes after you get the, after you ask for the fucking check, so... They need to bring old-school fucking service back, not the way how they do things now. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride! Thanks. Alright, now let's get the fuck on out of here. And get ready to start a new gym. They're not gonna take my gym. Durr, durr. That guy's still out there chowing down on his fucking burger. All right. The bathroom door was strangely jammed. Weird. Alright, I guess we can't, uh... Whatever. I guess we'll just get going. Time to start driving! Alright, now on... To our destination, where hell will break loose. All right. Oh, never mind. Eight o two p.m. Oh, never mind. We're still driving. Okay, I thought it was an automatic going to transport us to the uh, park ranger site. Are there any vehicles? Ooh, it's so creepily scary. I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone sinking out the other hoils I've seen in these woods. Oh, I guess we're here already. Uh, I guess we will park here. Okay, whatever. Fuck it. I'm gonna be an asshole and park the way how I feel like it. Creepy sounds! Wouldn't be a horror game without the creepy sound, so... Oh, 
Gold Trail Creek. Let's see what's up on here. Have a quick. Missing person, Brittany Spears. <laughs> Brittany Spears. <laughs> Missing person, Sanita Williams. Missing person, Hugh Jasmine. Hugh, there should be Hugh Jasmine. <laughs> Please stay on the trails. Switch back short cutting destroys the vegetation. Please don't litter. Please pack out all the trash you don't burn. Don't bury trash. Animals will dig it up. Well, it's not my fault that the that animals are fucking scavengers. Oh, shit! Son of a bitch! Is that how you greet people? Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me? One of who? What do you mean? You scared me, you stupid fuck. My lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your apartment, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. You are Billy, right? I'm the new tenant if I look out. I was told to report here. What for? Who the fuck is that in the background? I'm guy on you back there, sir. What for? I'm the new transfer fire lookout staffer. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at the Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But there are, there, here are your keys. Pick keys. Let me open the delegates for you. Fucking asshole. Oh, well, I guess we better grab her bag really quick then. That way, we are not left without any clothing. Let me check this door again really quick. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, there he is. Are you actually following me? So since you arrive in this lane, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Uh, thank you, Billy. Thought I might need one. You be careful. Take this. Welcome to the Iron Mark, pal. Now for the Owl Puppets. When you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your sapping. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. You have a good day. Alright. Let's see. Oh, the hell? Hey! Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of, uh, of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods, that's way. That way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Oh my! Nasty business. You got it. See you around. I thought I was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Yeah, so it seems like sidestepping is still the fast way to travel, which is still ironically funny for these type of games. Actually, on that note, let me go ahead and close these shades real quick, because I can see the reflection of the window. 11.32 p.m. on my on my tele. It was good long, and it was starting to get cold now. Alright, no more talking? Alright, let's go ahead and close. Oh, no, no, I can't close the window. I got the fan on. I need it for ventilation purposes, so... Hopefully the... I don't think... I mean, this is going to be a dark game, so I guess I'll just have to deal with uh, reflecting light. Oh, well. Ugh. Tower 11. 
Oh, not gonna throw our shit. <laughs> I hope so. Alright. Caution. Non ionizing radiation. Tower key for tower 11. This must be some. I mean, you really have to love nature and be into like some creepy shit to want to just live out in a fucking forest for like a season and stuff. Tower 11, 170 feet. And the fact that you gotta, you know, look out for fires and deal with that kind of shit. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. I bet it isn't. I imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Well, yep, I can get I get that. All right, let's go upstairs. But I always had a fondness uh, for the outdoors. Almost missed that. A little bit of reading at the bottom. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. There's the other, there's our, our buddy over there, I guess, that we're supposed to uh, get familiar with. See if there's anything else of uh, interest to look at. I mean, nice uh, lakeside view, so I guess that's kind of a little plus for having a job like this, I guess. All right, now let's go into our, oh, here it is, our scary hole. Cabin was filled with aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. That's a lot of loneliness. Oh, okay, I guess let's put it right there. All right, so I'm guessing we're supposed to go to the radio. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Forgot to turn the generator on at first. Okay. So I guess that means we have to go downstairs, I guess. Because I'm assuming the generator's got to be down in that little shack we just saw a little bit ago. Yeah, doing this shit at night. Fuck that. Oh, here it is. Now, would it be cool to, you know, catch people fucking in the woods and stuff like that? Hell yeah, but other than that, fuck all that. I mean, I know I'm into creepy shit, but I think I prefer the darkness of the city than the darkness of the forest. You know he would want in and out again. Static. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I should log on the computer first. Initializing. Rainbow. Rainbow 98 professional. Oh gee, because they can't use Windows. Because of copyright reasons. Check Ironbark Rules Flyer. Check Ironbark Rules Flyer. Okay, so I guess I have to, uh... Is there a flyer I'm supposed to look at then that has, like, a password? Ironbark Fire Department. Request comm support call Jonah. Send photos to Mitch. Call Billy. Call John tomorrow, 2 p.m. Ask for extra supplies next week. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. System password is of Iron Bark Tower number. Okay. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. What? Remember to call your you, you sister location. It should be your sister. Remember to call your sister lo station before you sleep. 
So it's iron bark and then 11. I'm assuming if that is correct. Password. What? What do you mean wrong? There we go. That, how, how did I mistype it the first fucking time? <laughs> Ooh. Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. Honey never spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. The Amazon rainforest produces 20% of the world's oxygen. It's often referred to as the lungs of the earth for its crucial role in generating the oxygen we breathe. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. The Amazon rainforest. Okay, so it's just gonna be the same shit over and over again. Alright. Fuck you, smiley bitch. Uh, let's see. What's console? Ooh. Plague. Ooh, a video game. Looks like you're ready to take some ticks on some zombies and have a blast. Good luck and, and aim for the head. Alright. I like the music. Oh shit! Headshot. Oh shit. This is like more like a uh, more like a amped up version of fucking Call of Duty Zombies. Not really. Oh shit. Hell I missed that. That was right on him. That one I missed. Okay. So this one of those games where we... Oh. Oh shit. Stop moving! Stop moving! Oh, that, okay, I fucked that one up, seriously. God damn it! <laughs> Funny how they say no games on the console, but yet, oh look, we're playing a video game. Health is 29, so we're probably going to be dead soon. Kind of almost like they're trying to give you, like, um, Doom vibes with the music. With, uh, some sh With some. Really? Just some, with them shitty graphics. But then again, there have been plenty of great games that have shitty graphics that are fucking amazing. I'm in hell. Oh shit, it's a whole. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It's a whole horde! Oh shit, oh shit. Is there like an explosive barrel we could. We could shoot? Oh fuck, I'm not. I'm fucked. Nope. Good thing these things are slow and stupid. Damn, does this character have like unlimited ammo or what? Fuck, I missed, fuck, I missed. Okay, I guess that's not an exploding barrel. That's kind of stupid. Hell, I missed that. Oh shit. Alright, so we'll uh, give this a. Oh, that was a random headshot. Oh shit, the bed. Oh shit, the bed. Oh fuck. Good thing they all go in a line like a bunch of idiots. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Get me out of here! Oh, okay, so I just loop back around, so I guess we just play until we die from the waves. Oh, there goes a fire canister right there. Alright, hell miss that. You would think. I'm assuming. Oh, what the hell? That's right, headshot, motherfucker. Okay, so I'm guessing. Is there like an action? Do we have to play until we're dead, or can you actually escape this? But right, let's see. Wow. Alright, so do these waves actually end, or is there like an exit to the, this level? 
I mean, there's like a ladder and shit right there, but... This has to be like... Like the end or something. I think. Oh, you can jump. The hell? Alright, looks like we uh, glitched off the map. I fell off the map. <laughs> so I guess that's one of those uh, games with an unlimited... With the unlimited glitching capacity that doesn't correct itself. Alright, so that's enough of that game, I guess. Let's see what's on the Flash Media Drive. Ooh, plant interview. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Yeah. How does that work? Wow. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? So this guy is clearly a stoned out of his mind hippie. Sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. Sir, calm down. What did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? <laughs> Get over here, you piece of shit. Technical difficulties, please stand by. Oh yeah, no doubt there, Terrible Terrors. There's always gonna be hidden porno in people's like fucking office computers. Hi everyone, I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. <laughs> it reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my <laughs> needle. I'll save that for that's later. Up. Ah, there it is, the basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife. Uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be <laughs> right back after this commercial break. Now that is definitely a video that Dragonfly Rain or my dad, well not my dad, because my dad, he's not tech savvy, but that's definitely a video my, my sister Dragonfly Rain would make after offing her husband. <laughs> Where I bury the bodies. These paintings remind me of him from time to time. <laughs> Ooh, video on kitties. I know they had dudes in that video, but this, that is the best depiction of, of today's modern single women that's unmarried, no kids, all they have is fucking cats. To cope with the loneliness. Employee training. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. 
If you're watching this video, then Mr. let Ghost. me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Doesn't look state of the art. for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society science require nerds. us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Not all NASA employees are smart. Keep I campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire, which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. What's up, Eco? Keep and maintenance thank you. of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Mostly. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. You are ready to work. Mostly. Top of the morning. Complete watching the employee training video. There's actually an achievement for that. Alright, let's see. What's in the trash bin? Is there hidden porn in there? Nope. So this is the map. This is the Iron Box State Park Trail map. Whether you're... Obtaining a hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your hot screen. I'm here to help. So, technically, where is... So this is Tower 11. Because I know we're going to have to utilize this map for some purpose later on. Service reporting. Let's go to console. Okay. Ready to wield? Some digital magic with console type help to get the list of commands. Ooh. Available command. Checks for available system update. Checks for current version. Install system update with package code. Closes the console. Okay, so I guess there's no real reason to have this open. So let's go to service reporting. Welcome to the state of the art service report. Oh, the hell? Who the fuck is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. I uh, thought it was. I thought I was going to be alone out here. You were watching? Ew, you, you naughty boy. Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. I'm really tired. Ah, uh, fuck it. He's probably like, yeah, you want change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature's about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. 
I got it. Thanks. Alright, so I guess we don't have to do any reporting at the moment. Right mouse button to use. Let's see. 20 knots. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, sit this here down. Did you light it up yet? No, ass fuck. I'm trying to mess with some of the equipment. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Really? Uh, I guess we gotta go get ourselves some uh, firewood really quick. Unless there's firewood around here. Let me see. <clears throat> Why is it beeping? Does he got something to tell me? There's no firewood. No firewood? Mm. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Oh, I bet she was. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Oh, yeah, right. must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Ooh, we're gonna play with some gasoline too. Alright, so maybe we might not need to pick up some gas downstairs, but we'll definitely need some firewood down in this here little shacky. The shacky shack. Compressor. More gasoline. See if there's anything around here we can mess with. Ooh, binoculars. We could do some real bird watching with these. What's that? Oh, another one of these things. Alright. Pick up some firewood and then we will go up and light this bitch. Ah, the life of a fire forest ranger. Being all alone and a Bank tank of your own, where no one can it, no one, no one can interrupt you. I don't think it get any better than that. Need to light it up. Wow. All right, this place is gonna get lit on fire. Okay. Oh, right now. There we go. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Oh, yeah, this place is going to burn down if this is real life. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? No. So it was 20 knots, if I remember correctly. Did you report for the night yet? You better get to it, then. Here at Iron Park, you are required report every night before signing off. Oh, you don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Fuck that asshole. Alrighty. Oh no, I didn't even say what the fucking... Is there like a thermometer I'm supposed to use? Because that other thing didn't say. Because that other thing that we used, where is it? Didn't even say what the, unless it did, and I just want to pay, I just saw the 20 knots. Let me see. Yeah, 20 knots, that's it, that's all I'm saying. Unless there's like a uh, thermostat thing outside on the watchtower. But I don't think there is. Hm. Whatever. Oh, oh shit, did I built the flashlight too? No, I didn't. Damn it! 
There you go. Oh, there's some binoculars right here too. Oh. Oh, here we go. Let me see. Temperature is about. I want to say what? About 50 degrees. Did I look at that correctly? In Fahrenheit. Uh, let me see. I didn't really pay attention to the cloud. Okay. Zero, I guess. Fuck, what the hell's our name again already? Fuck it. Here we go. Something didn't look right. Yeah, and what's that? What the hell's this guy's name again already? <laughs> Actually, hold on. I don't even, does he even have a last name? Put our bag out here. It is uh, Osborne Firefinder. It's like a giant compass size of a pizza. What the hell is this fucking asshole's name again? There we go. Jack Nils. Jack Nelson. Something didn't look... What the fuck are you talking about? The temperature is 46... Really? They're that literal? I wasn't sure if I had put in the right weather condition. Really? Jesus fucking Christ. Copy, new guy? Yeah, whatever. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Congratulations. Tower 12, signing off. You have and, a good night, new guy. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Don't want the bed book to bite. Oh, good night, Connor. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, over and out. Fucking loser. Scary part, they're terrible terrorists. When I stop getting frustrated, that's when you know it's getting scary. Osborne Firefinder, it's like a giant compass size of the pizza. Because it wouldn't be a scary game if I wasn't getting frustrated, right? Three twenty-six AM. Unintelligible. Okay. Unintelligible. Unintelligible. Get up. Okay. What the fuck's going on? Why are you disturbing my sleep, goddammit? I had to pee. Kano? Alrighty. That made no fucking sense. All my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. I bet it did. Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. Well, I'm too lazy to go down to the outhouse, so we're just going to... Oh, I guess we have to go to the outhouse, maybe. Alright, I guess we gotta go down, which is stupid. Maybe it's a different game. I'm thinking where you could like pee over the tower. But I thought this was this game. But I guess we have to go downstairs just for the. No. Oh. Really? And now we can piss. Ooh. Peeing all over the place. Ooh. 
Okay. Damn. This dude didn't even drink that fucking much. How you gotta piss that much? Alright. Oh. Creepy shit. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck are you there, sir? Who the hell is down there? Who the fuck is that motherfucker? Who the fuck are you? Alright, that's an uh... Not sure who the fuck that rando was. Not sure if people have actually caught that before or if, uh, missed that, actually. Let's see something. Let's see if we can disturb our boy Connor. Nope, I guess not. Oh, I guess back to sleep we go then. Night two. It's just you. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. Coffee in the evening. Shouldn't it be coffee in the morning? But whatever. I know whack jobs like my sister and my dad drink coffee in the afternoon, or in the evening, I should say. Find the thousand of baby oil. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. We haven't discovered the the loot of baby oil just yet. There, uh, Senor Uncle X Files. Space to get off. Okay. Get off. Alright, let's go ahead and. Oh. You copy? This is uh, Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? What the hell do you want this time there, guy? Can't see I'm trying to enjoy my fucking coffee? Do you copy? copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me, motherfucker? Alright. Let's see what kind of trouble there is this time around. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Am I supposed to take a picture or what? Alright, I see the smoke. Did you spot that white smoke up north? Yes, I did. It appears to be in the Lazy Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Cool. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. If it's not a registered campsite, then why the fuck should we be concerned in the first place? Fire risks are high this season. So? Am I checking it out? No. Okay, heading on. I'll report back on it. Yes, do you have any other detail? Is it safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray, and you should be fine. This is bear mace! Okay, heading on. I'll report back on it. Do you have other detail? <gasps> Ugh. Or any potential hazards along the way. Okay, heading out. Lacy Trail. Out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over bear spray. Over and out. Alright, so now we get to bear mace some motherfuckers. Hm. Beth, bear mace that guy. And that guy. Alright, let's see. I'm a Zoom in. Oh, here we go. 
This is bear spray. Bear mace that guy and that guy. All right, now we get to hopefully catch some kids butt fucking in the act, and then take a picture and then humiliate them on Facebook and on social media for the rest of their lives. Let's see. Utility shack. Smoke should be this way. I was on the wrong trail. Oh, okay. I guess we go back then. I guess this way. I was on the wrong trail. <laughs> well, maybe you need to be on the right trail. Gold Creek Tower 11 Lacey Trail. Damn! I gotta walk 3.2 miles for this bitch? The fuck? I came here just to wash, not the fucking... Now I'm starting to sound like my brother-in-law Soul Sun score 64. I came here just to fucking wash. I didn't come here to fucking walk around and get some exercise. Do I look like I exercise? <laughs> I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Oh, well, that sounded fucking horrific. MC, because Jesus doesn't care if you butt fuck, you're still a virgin. <laughs> Alright, I love Jen. No captain. The violinist will be sighted and moved. She gives the best head. Oh, hell yeah! Let me go this way then. Alright, I'm going to get me some head. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> she gives the best head. Da, 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 damn. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I just got home. All right, the pizza ingredients. You will not believe how easy this one is to throw together. Did you reach yet? Send pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I didn't think my sector was has very good service. View from my tower, and thanks for the recipe. I might try it tonight. Let's see. Yep. This is the reason why men probably die first. There's a radio there. Ooh, a machete! Yeah, we can't take it. I'm here. I hear whistling. Can we go for a dip? Alright. I hear whistling. Oh, what the hell is that? Emergency closure trail obstructed. What the fuck was that shit, man? Who's that? Step out here! Because in a horror movie, you never say who's there. Because who's there means you're going to die. Show yourself, bitch! Well, fuck you then. The area beyond that site was closed. But you're a park ranger. You should be able to break the law and just go through. You have a thought, ha. Huh? The area beyond that site was closed. I guess we don't have a thought, ha. Huh? So, I had to put it out, so let's go ahead and my hands are full. Alright, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some agua really quick. So somebody got sacrificed tonight apparently. I bet she gives great helmet. <laughs> Tower, closest tower, tower 11 C. Frequency 155.925.00. Alright, so I guess we can just go back now, I guess. I think it's funny how you can only carry one item, which makes no sense, because you would think in the forest you would have a fucking flashlight with you at least, because you gotta shine some damn body. On 9.07 p.m. 
As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I wouldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think that what might have happened. Okay. It says press any key. Oh, the game loading? Okay, there we go. Alright, back to our tower now. <coughs> Where we will call it a night. We'll probably report into what's the name and then probably call it a night afterwards. Generator is still running, so that's good. No one shut that shit off on me while I was out. Yep, old boy is still awake over there. Alrighty, I had to report to Carter about the vacancy campsite. Carter, do you copy? Tower 12, do you copy? Hey, Carter, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Yeah, you was cooking up some hot ass. Talk about campsite. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? <sighs> ah, fuck it. Mention the scream. The scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Oh, I bet. It. Oh, if that's how a screaming lady sounds, then count me in. <laughs> It was a manly scream. It's a man, baby! I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with campers? What happened to those kids? There's some paranormal pativity stuff right here for you there. It's so let's maybe you should go place and visit this place. I think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes I only wish they were true. <laughs> well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Right, that's unsettling. Glad to be of service. Oh, absolutely not. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. Right. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Goons? If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Yeah, you, uh, you do that guy. Will do. Over and out. <laughs> Over and out. Oh. Tom to report. Before we call it a night. Alrighty, let's go ahead and check the weather. So, oop, Kayla. Not delivered. Okay. Oh, let's see. I'm so jelly that the, of the failure. By the way, look what I got home to. Pizza, pasta, bake. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom hee hee. Not delivered. Looking at that photo makes me s my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. So we got 19 knots. I would say cloudy this time, even though it was kind of cloudy yesterday. So 19 knots, cloudy. And the temperature is 47.6. Ah, oh, shit. 47.6 and 19. All right. 47.6, 19, cloudy, 
Zero, Jack Nelson. Who the fuck is Jack Nocklison? Oh shit, okay, here we go. Report submitted at 5-13-2002. Alright, so I guess my job is done now. Alright, now let's go ahead and make this here. Let's go ahead and make some food. Now, let me see. At this point, I was starving. Really? Okay. So, I think... What recipe did she send us? Uh, pizza pasta bake. Oh, the same thing. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Okay. So there's the pasta. Sardines. Ugh. Sardines. Da, 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 ba, 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 ba. I mean, this... That's all we have to fucking work with? I had a feeling it was still missing something. Well, no shit. Oh, here we go. Let's see. The hell? Okay. From work. Where's the chiz? Ah, here we go. Crouch. Let me see. So, got the roni. Or some roni in there. Let me see. Got the marinara. Got some marinara in that bitch. And cheese and diced tomatoes. Let me see. That's soda. Diced tomatoes. Then, the chez. Where is the chez? Here we go. Close that bitch. Throw that bitch in the oven. Pop it in. Ding! Oh man, this oven's so fucking slow. I'm trying to cook some fucking food here, man. You're fucking up my fucking rhythm. I'm trying to get my fat boy on. What is it, bitch? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Congratulations. Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of their mind. Right. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. You do that. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Alright there. Good night there, good buddy. Good. Wrong way. Ding! I just remember the smell of fresh sizzling cheese. I liked eating in bed. Oh, I bet you do, you naughty little fuck. And this fat ass is gonna eat the whole entire thing by himself, isn't he? Hey look, this is gonna this is This is Solo Sun Score 64 with another fat guy review. I'm gonna eat some shitty pizza lasagna and I'm gonna stuff my fucking face until it's done. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was already full. Oh, shit, the bet. He actually has a stopping point. I know if it was Soul Sun score 64, he's like, man, that's lightweight shit right there. I'll show you how to finish this bitch. Alright, so I guess we'll leave this on the stove. I could have kept it in the refrigerator, but whatever. 
place in the fridge. Alright then. I w it was getting cold. Thought I'd get wood this wood get wood stowed lit. Ah god damn it, I mean I gotta go downstairs in this dark and scary fucking forest. Ooh, it's Camp Crystal Lake. Where's Jason? Is he down below waiting for teens to start having sex so he can kill them to prevent them from having premarital sex? Alright. Time to get ourselves some. Time to get our wood on. <laughs> Alright. I hear whistling again. Why do I hear... Why did I hear fucking whistling? I heard whistling, goddammit. Is there any creepy shit? Anybody trying to fuck with me out here? I'm armed, damn it. I'll bear mace your ass. Alrighty. I guess there is uh, nothing really to worry about then. Meow, he's there. that in there. Light it up! Wow. Throw another one in there. There we go. Time to call it a night. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. God, so needy. Well, then again, you want to make it secure. You don't want people popping in. You don't want people scoping you out while you're fucking trying to whack it. They wouldn't want that. I mean, you know, unless we're, you know, trying to do like OnlyFans or something. But then again, all that can be done through the comfort of your computer. But we can call it the live action OnlyFans. Or, like, underscore 64 likes to say he's gonna start his only mans. That looks like only one window is technically left open, and it's the one by the computer. Alright, lights out. And then I'm pretty sure we're gonna wake up in the middle of the night yet again. Because we have to pay pay. Yep, 2.27 a.m. Boy, this guy sure does not know how to fucking... I was woken by something feeling that caused my eyes to shift to shift open. Oh, I saw a flashlight. Oh, what the fuck? I see I see devil horns in the shadow. Who the fuck are you there, buddy? There was something very strange about that night. I'll kill you, motherfucker. That hurt dumping. Static. Wake up there, guy. Wake up there, guy. Alrighty. I guess. Oh, just the dental clinic calling me. They can wait. They can leave me a voicemail. Alright, let's see. Let me see. Let's go get... Let's bear mace these fuckers. I got bear mace! I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. Okay. So obviously some devil worshipping shit going on here. Who goes there? Who goes there? Show yourself! <laughs> That's right. I'm a bear mace these fuckers. Okay. It's fucking dark and scary. Not sure if I'm supposed to actually go down here or not, but we might as well just check things out. That's on still. That's still on, obviously. Anything in here? Nothing, nothing, okay. 
Alright, maybe we didn't have to go down here. Cause I'm not gonna fucking go slick swan around. Fuck that shit, I'm good with that. Fuck that. See if there's something that we can scope out up here. Down below. In the distance. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No scary shit to, to report. I guess not. And Tower 12 is lights out. Oh, I guess there's no need to bear mace anybody. Damn, I was hoping to really, really light somebody up. Kana, do you copy? Wake the fuck up, bitch. I need to talk to you. It's on it. You there? Do you have any idea what time it is? Yes, bitch. I know what fucking time it is. It's time for you to get the fuck up and stop spanking it. There's something outside my door. There's something eerie about this place. Fuck no. I don't think these kid are these are kids messing around. What if this is not a prank? These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. Nope, he's not done yet. He's still working on the brothel room there, Uncle Exiles. This feels like a some real ritual. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? This feels like a some real whatever. Oh no shit. Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. Yeah, Give I'm me aware. Before you know it. Right, as soon as somebody doesn't murder me in my fucking sleep. Gotta get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you, motherfucker. You ain't getting no thanks from me this time. Connor didn't make any sense. But there's not much else I could have done in the dock. Oh, I guess it's lights out again then, I guess. Fuck it. Back to sleep. Night three. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Alright. I occupy most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower. Or by scanning the de densities of trees all around me. My paranoia for these words only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Alright, so I'm guessing we're just kind of scanning around then, or what? Are we supposed to be looking for something in particular? Because it looks like these fucking binoculars need to fucking be cleaned, like, very badly. Oh. Old LM to clean. Oh, left mouse. Okay, I'm holding left mouse button, so... Oh. Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought it was something that's gonna be happening over time. I had no fucking... I had to actually fucking use my fucking mouse and shit. Oh, shit. God damn, bro. What did you do? Did you, like, fucking jerk off on the fucking binoculars or something? Or what? Shit. Have a little self-control. Oh, there's a flare. Alright. I'm guessing we need to report this. Hello? Is yep. anyone there? There we go. I, I need help. Please, someone answer. 
What the fuck are you doing out here late this night, kid? My paranoia urged me to close the door before sitting down. Jesus Christ, guy. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack. Tower 11. I hear you loud and clear. Who's this? Fuck it. Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on there, guy? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think, I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? What is your current location? What equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Of course. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Can you describe your surroundings? Do you remember any landmarks? What direction are you facing right now? <clears throat> I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. A small stream? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Small oh, stream. Thank goodness, I see it. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? The trailhead, okay. Alright. This is the ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. You're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your screen. I'm help. I'm here to help. Wait, God damn it! Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. I, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. All right, so trailhead. So he says he's near. So he said he was going west. When he was heading east, or from the east. So he said he's at a fork. Long pass trailhead. <clears throat> Alright, let me look at the skin real quick. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Right or left to go to the trailhead. So if he's at a fork... Well, I'm assuming he's probably here then. So then he wants... then we want him to go left. So yeah, so we're going to tell him to go left. Uh, are, are you, both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Alright. I'm at a trail intersection now, but <clears throat> I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Take the left trail there, guy. <laughs> I knew it! I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Making it in the dark can be challenging. Hope you reach back to the trailhead safe. Uh oh. I'm right here! The hell? I hear you. Oh shit, I think I just got this motherfucker killed. Unless he's gonna die no matter which way you send him, I guess. I hear your whistles. Oh yeah, you're about to die. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. Is he whistling Jeepers Creepers? You're freaking me out. Oh yeah, and this motherfucker's dead. Hello? Anybody home? Holy moly, what took you so long in there? 
I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? Knocking for hours, my ass, bitch. You just barely knocked on the fucking door. I was assisting a lot hacker. Just finish it up on the report. Nothing much. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, I uh, got your tower supplies here. Uh, just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. What, your knee's gonna buckle on you there, buddy? Uh. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Well, well, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been here, and you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Mm -hmm. Just get, just get getting used to the new environment. Mention the skull. Oh Lord, have mercy! Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? Didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supply. <laughs> Bye. Alrighty. So I guess we just put them. Oh. Okay. So now. I guess it's time to call it a night. So let's go get ourselves some uh, firewood, I guess. I was hungry. Of course you are. All right. So what's going to be on the menu there? Are we just going to eat our leftovers? Yes, we are. My hands are full. Really? What in the oven? Uh, unless this guy's just going to eat it cold like some kind of sick son of a bitch. I mean, I know that's something that's terrible. T I mean, that, uh... Nope, he's not gonna eat it cold. The food was cold. Well, no shit! That's why I was trying to put it in the oven, but you weren't putting it in the oven, you dumb son of a bitch. Or oh, unless they just want me to microwave it now. Okay, now it's gonna get all dried out instead of being crunchy. I mean, now it's gonna be all dried out and stuff instead of it being actually... Still somewhat juicy and a little crunchy. Damn. How long is that microwave gonna take? There we go. So the door. I like eating in bed. Well, you kind of have no real place to eat at except at the desk anyways. Alrighty. Cold leftovers is fucking disgusting. I like my food hot. I, I just don't get how people can eat pasta cold and stuff like that. I mean, that's for like mental patients or something. Or psychotics. So now he finishes the other half of it. Alright. Time to toss this bitch. Just throw it on the floor there. Alright, now we gotta go ahead and do our reporting. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get ourselves some of that firewood. I had to report for the night before parent. God damn it! Trying to do like all these prerequisites beforehand, but then they're like, no, nah, you gotta do it this way first. <clears throat> 23 knots. 55.6. Jesus Christ, dude. You're an adult. So, was it 23 and 55.6? Uh, 
six, one, three, clear, one, submit. I wasn't sure if I had put in the right weather condition. Really? Okay. Last time I put windy, a uh, cloud, it said it was clear. All right, fine, cloudy. God damn it. Well, what the fuck do you want me to put? No, it can't be missed. It has to be clear. Okay, I guess it was windy. Solo? Is that a ma you making up words now there, Solus? Well, I mean, you know. I'm not eating no cold shit, but you do you, man. Alrighty. Now that that's done, now we can finally grab ourselves some firewood. That way we can fucking call this a night. I'm busy, ho. I'm gonna see your stupid ass for dinner anyways. Alright, grab ourselves some wood. Oh shit! Who the fuck are you? Can I help you? You just gave me a heart attack. Who are you? What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi, the new guy everyone's been talking about. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Cillian. Silas. Nice to meet you. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. Mm -hmm. We must ensure that right the message reached the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely on information about fire science. I agree. Fire risks are high this season. <gasps> Absolutely, but some fires are meant to be burned, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What the fuck does that mean? Nature has its own plan. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I should head back to the town now. It's getting late. I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Creepy motherfucker. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Alrighty, as he's walking through walking through tree branches and all of a sudden now. Yeah. That makes sense. That seems very comforting. Alright, let's close this, y'all. Close you up. Close you. Close you. Close you. And... Close you. Oh, I did this one? No, no, right there. It goes right there. Alright. Close those bitches up. That way we don't have to do them before actually going to bed now. Alrighty. Wood in the fire. Pour some gasoline all over the floor here. Throw that bitch off the side. Light it up. There you go. Close. Hey, what's up there, Mr. Brig? How are you doing? And thank you, by the way, for the birthday. Ah, da, 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 da. Wait, I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there, bitch. New guy. You there? No shit, I'm here. Let me, but whatever. Let me just fucking answer this fucking radio call. Copy now. 
Yes, asshole. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby rail tower. The, ne the nearby rail to tower worker. <sighs> Is this about yesterday? What? You trying to yank my chain now? <laughs> yank your chain. That radio tower has been out of service for ages now. The fuck you talking about, bro? Uh-huh. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Now, who the fuck did I just talk to? Look, <laughs> what you're saying is true. It could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my fucking name, bro. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Fuck if I know. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Really? I did not know that. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, me too. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Yeah, whatever. Okay. All right. Now, after we just ate and reported in all that other nonsense, let's go ahead and lights out this motherfucker and go to sleep. No shit, Mary, I saw your text. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting too used to. The, strange, the strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. Oh, so we're just skipping nights now. 9.18 p.m. Oh, sure, it's raining now. What the hell do you want? Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Really? They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Really? No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. How do I update the computer? What is it about? Well, they say they've optimized the reporting <coughs> software, improved the communication system, and some much needed security patches. Ooh? If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. How do I update the computer? Well, not really my thing. Oh, so it sounds like, um, you know, trying to help, uh, Solus underscore 64 on my desk. They're not really tech savvy. There I say it. These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Very true. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. New console? Okay. Sure a young man like you can figure it out. Alrighty. So, the new console, huh? Ready to wield some digital magic with console help. Yeah, let's see. Checks for update, system update, checks for current version, install system update with package code. So I guess we'll do update then. Please enter update package code. Okay. So let's check update then. Three updates found in total filtering. Let's see. New version patch version 5461. Oh, package code. Okay. 4346084. Not sure if that did anything or not. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Uh. Man, not recognize the book. Package code 446084. Do I just entered all at one? Maybe invalid package code. Uh, 
checks were available. Okay. So if that's the package code, then it should. Really? What the fuck are you talking about? Whatever. Look out this bitch. Alright, let's go ahead and do this reporting crap. So, zero knots. Zero knots, and the temperature is... Okay. Why is it not telling me the temperature all of a sudden? Server version mismatch. Try updating system. I tried doing that, but it, your fucking system's not updating like it's fucking supposed to. Current package version. Please enter the uh, package code, which I did. But, for some reason, it didn't want to fucking do it like it's fucking supposed to. Found in total. Two point one one updates. Size. Package code 434. No, oh, hold on. Maybe we gotta do it this way then. I thought it would be like... Old school DOS where you have to type in the command, then the button. I guess they want to do it this way, I'm assuming. That was fucking stupid. If they're trying to make this like old school Windows and DOS, then they obviously did that completely wrong. Please enter an active line. Alright, I guess 1045. Oops. It just said active lines. Our serviceable lines. Alright, 5987. Okay, or do I have to do this? Let me see. Okay. I guess I just had to pick pick one that was right out of the four, which was kind of stupid. Ow. That was not ear-piercingly loud. Alrighty, so my shit just went out. So I'm guessing somebody fucking shut the generator off on me, sons of bitches. Power was out. And where the fuck is my... Nope. Where the fuck is my flashlight? There it is. Alrighty. Go ahead and start this bitch. Jenner ran out of gas. Oh, go fucking figure. Alright, so what kind of creepy shit's gonna fucking attack us this time at night? Alright, let's go ahead and build this bitch up. Popping off the gas. Generator's on. It was getting cold and I had to pee. Oh, we're already down here. 
Isn't there like an outhouse we can use, or do we? Yep, here it is. Fuck it. Let's take a whiz in here. Well, that can't be a good thing if there's a voice in here for here. Aw, oh, he's not gonna pee outside the outside the bowl this time. Weird how the door was kind of transparent like that. One week later. Oh, so it's a week now. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there was no fires going, the only thing I do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. <clears throat> Two thirty-four a.m. Ooh, it is the morning now. We got another one. Alrighty. I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Jack, Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? Jack, you copy? Why are you still? Okay. I don't have the energy to do this right now. <laughs> I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. Do you see the campsite from your end? Alright, so now I gotta fucking look. Now we gotta do some of this. Oh shit, the fuck? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. We don't let you deal with this one. Really, you son of a bitch? You can't do your own fucking job? If they don't run away this time, take their photos mm -hmm. and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. You lazy ass motherfucker. Isn't that fucking your goddamn sector? Piece of shit. Oh yeah, I didn't know what to make of it. There's some cult shit going on! Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Alright. So are we gonna do some secret squirrel shit or what? Oh never mind, we're just gonna use our camera. Oh shit! They saw me! Oh! Who the fuck is that? Oh shit the bed. We gonna hide like a bitch now.
guessing that means the coast is clear. I had to make a run. Really? A run where? Oh shit. Oh shit! We're gonna be playing a running game now! Oh shit the bed! Get the fuck out of here! How close is he to me? Run, motherfucker, run! Use those legs! Better run, motherfucker! Oh no, I'm dead! I wonder if I was supposed to hide oh you know what? I wonder if I was supposed to hide in the port in the in the shitter downstairs. Fuck you, motherfucker! You ain't taking my booty! You can't have my booty! the end of the game, if I remember correctly, for this uh, type of music. We are going to get the fuck out of here. Fuck this place. It was locked. So I take it. We're just going to go straight to... Oh, shit. Better run. Better get in this RV. Let me in! You can't have a booty! As the adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little still crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed in my star, dismissing it well as a part of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Michelle offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Will or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activity. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. And then we drive away to safety. Survivor, survive through the fourth episode. Oh, look, we got happy music now. So I guess that is episode 4, The Iron Bark Lookout. Not bad, just a little frustrating in the beginning trying to figure out that stupid computer shit because one, I was looking at the stupid thermostat, but I guess you had to click on the thermostat to get the accurate number, even though I was pretty much close the very first fucking time anyway, but fuck you. So not bad, so can't wait to play the last, uh, I'm assuming, last episode, but I wouldn't be surprised if later on maybe they might add more at a later time, because, I mean, if people are still buying your content, why not make more of it, right? Alrighty, so that will conclude this game.